You're still really mad at your mom and Damien. Huh? Wouldn't you be? Yeah. I mean, but she did try to explain. She's been really messed up, taking pills to go to sleep, and between that and being out of her mind with grief. Yeah, she wasn't thinking straight. I get that. Intellectually. I even told Faith that we should cut her some slack. But the wise big brother thing was just an act? What? <laughs> well, I guess if they had slept together once, then maybe I could handle it. Wait, wait. You told me this was a one-time deal. Yeah, but I found out that weeks earlier, before my dad even died, there was something going on between them. I mean, it wasn't as extreme. They didn't head to bed or anything, but they kissed. Faith saw them. Wow. Your sister has some bad luck. No, it's not luck, Noah. Faith might not say much, but she sees everything, and she is so smart about people. It's kind of like my dad. But she didn't tell anybody about this kiss until couple days ago, and now I just can't get it out of my head. It was just a kiss. Yeah, but Noah, if she loves my father, then what is she doing kissing Damien? I asked myself the same question when I found out you kissed Brian. I don't care what your family thinks. I just want to be here with you to help you through this. It may take a very long time. I'm not going anywhere. So am I, from a not that frying pan left on my head. That was my fault. I talked her into helping me escape. She didn't want to do it. Yeah, I'll bet. No, it's true. I, I told her, told her what she wanted to hear. I used it. So punish me. I, I deserve it. Leave her alone. Don't waste your breath. Once Eb's made up his mind, there's no going back. She didn't do anything wrong. Nah, it doesn't matter. Little lady tried to beat my brains out with a skillet. She's got to be punished. Sitting here smelling you is punishment enough. Oh, baby doll. This is only the beginning of what I got in store for you. Seriously, what's it going to take? It's going to get you to, to leave me alone. Well, if I had that robbery money Skaggs hid from me, uh, I might be a little more likely to be lenient. OK, fine. It's money you want? You got it. I knew you knew where that money I'm was. I'm not talking about the robbery money. I'm talking about ransom. It's the only way you're ever going to get a dime out of me. So I write a note to your wife and I get paid off just like that? All you have to do is call my wife. Hi, Faith. What, uh, <laughs> what's going on? Why aren't you in school? I left. You just left? Does your mother know? No, she's inside with Damien again, making out. Well, hello. Hello, Jack. Hi, Jack. How are you? Uh, perhaps I should have called first. No. It's fine. She just had a bad day. That's all. My right, sweetheart? Listen, why don't you um, give your mom and I a few minutes to talk things out? Can you go upstairs for a bit? Yeah, OK. Thanks. She listened to you. That's impressive. She's a good egg. Yeah, she is. But she's, she's really been acting out lately. I thought that stage was over, but ever since Holden... Yeah, she's, uh, she's missing her dad. We all are. If it were tears and confusion, I could manage it, but she's been so angry. I, I just don't even know how to get through to her. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really comfortable saying this, but for Holden's sake, I feel I must ask. What's going on with you two? That is none of your business. I get the dough. I'm supposed to let you go. That's how ransom works. <laughs> Forget it. Uh-uh. You'll call the cops. They'll bust down my door, throw me in a tank. Jill doesn't agree with me. You know, you've held me all this time. You're willing to just, just give up? for all your pair of corpses, for all your hard work. Look, I want the money Skaggs hid from me, okay? 
That way, I don't get connected to the bank robbery or a kidnapping or anything else. And I told you, I don't know where the stolen money is. The only one who does is your buddy Skaggs. But unfortunately, he died when my truck burned. If Holden knew where the money was, don't you think he'd have told us by now? Come on, he knows it's his only way out. You gotta go to plan B. You gotta call his wife. She's rich. I seen her. Why, you little... Do you want your money or not? All right. All right. I'll call your wife. We'll see how much she thinks you're worth. But here's the deal. If the missus pays up, I let you go. But Maeve stays here. And if I find out you said one word about me to anybody, I'll put a bullet right between her eyes. I was drunk when I kissed Brian. It was extenuating circumstances. There usually are. Why are you still holding on to this? I am just playing devil's advocate. I mean, your mom's whole world just got turned inside out, and then she almost drowns in her sleep. I mean, those are extenuating circumstances. Too. Yeah, yeah, but it's completely different. I know, but anything can happen in a bad moment. Your mom must feel like her life is just out of control right now. Yeah, but no, we're talking about before my father died. Our life was fine. Our family was happy. Okay, so it was an impulse. It was just a kiss. She said herself it was a mistake. Yeah, but I'm not sure that I can believe that. Well, you're not gonna know the real truth. She might not know herself, but it's over, okay? And you've got to stop holding on to it. That's just gonna make you feel worse. <laughs> Noah, how can I let go? I mean, Damien has come in and he's made his move. It's just like my father said. Damien came back here to get with my mom, and my father's accent cleared the way. You gotta stop beating up on your mother. She loves you. She needs your help, so help her. You're right. You're right. Maybe I can stop this before Damien does any more damage. Yeah. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You're my family, too. <laughs> Hi, Mason. Hey. How are you? Good. Don't leave on my account. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. I got your message. What's up? How do you feel about another road trip? You got something special planned for the class? Nope. Just the two of us. And after what I witnessed just now... What you saw just now? Lily, the kids' lives are changing way too fast. They've been traumatized. We all have. Yes, I know that. But they need someone that they can depend on, someone who's not going to fall to pieces without Why are you warning. Trying to say Wait a minute, I'm not accusing you of anything. And I know it's a lot for you to handle, but for the time being, I think it would be a good idea for Faith and Natalie and Ethan to come stay with me at the farm. You can't take my kids away Lily, from me. Hold on, they'd be with family out at the farm. Emma, J Janet, and Meg, we, we could all help keep an eye on them, and they'd feel closer to holding that way. No, this is their home. They, be they belong with their mother, I especially after what's happened. Excuse me, I'll call you later. Jack, you're a good man. I know that you came here with the best intentions, but you are wasting your time. My children aren't going anywhere. The Minneapolis Film Festival. It's one of the biggies. I managed to scrounge up a couple of all-access press passes. I don't believe it. These things are like gold. Yeah, they are. <sighs> don't expect to sleep too much, because the first screening is at 8 a.m., the last one is at midnight, and that's when all the networking begins. What do you say? You up for it? Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be, but what about my classes? Ah, we'll call it independent study. Come on, an experience like this is worth way more than a grade in a gut class. I mean... Yeah, unless that grade is incomplete. All right, uh, give me a copy of calendar. I'll contact all the other profs. Oh, come on, like that's gonna work? Why not? I mean, come on, the basketball team, they take off like a week every time they go to tournament. Why me? Because you're one of the best students I've ever had. Mm. That and the fact that I can't drive myself, so if you don't come, I don't go. <laughs> well, I am really flattered, and Great. this is an unbelievable opportunity, but you're gonna have to find somebody else. I didn't just hear that. Luke's family's in bad shape right now, and he's trying to make sure everybody's okay, which is impossible and not his job. That's Luke, and I need to be here with him. 
Wow. Did you ever do anything without wondering how Luke will feel? No. Um, nothing. Why? Do you have a problem with that? No. Maybe I'm just a little bit jealous.